Were we not live, darling? That's okay. That's okay. I'm so sorry. That's fine. Oh we'll my just god. Go, we'll just do all that again. Oh my god! Are we are we live now? We darling? are live now. Okay, what's happened is uh, <laughs> we thought we'd been live for the past sort of ten minutes. Um, <gasps> Dodie hadn't actually hit the button yet, and that's fine. <laughs> She's very nervous. She's had a very big day. I'm big month, big year. So sorry, everyone. But we got in a little practice chat. I we think did. We're, we're, okay, we're, we're in now. the flow now. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Oh my We've God. been talking like really <laughs> sincerely for about 10 minutes about this video. Oh my God. And the song. Okay, we'll get to it. <laughs> What's really funny is like, I was seeing some questions pour in and I was like, great, like great. responding to so them. So some of you, we've answered your questions already, but we'll go back to them. Classic us. Classic. Vintage I'm so Dirty. sorry. Welcome, Welcome to the post I Kiss Someone It Wasn't You Q&A live stream. Yay! With Cheers. director Hazel Hayes. Me and songstress. Doody. Songstress. <laughs> I don't know how that just Sing came out. Singer-songwriter. I'm so sorry. YouTube sensation. YouTube sensation. <laughs> Doody, lowercase oh d. Oh my god. Right, we will begin again. I've already said this, but you don't know that. Um, okay, so hopefully you all have just come from watching the music video for I Kissed Someone, It Wasn't You, um, which I wrote to be a song about perhaps coming out of a breakup of someone who you felt very close to, but obviously it was maybe tumultuous slash it wasn't going to work, um, despite the connection that you had. Um, you are in the stage where you're not really over it, you're not really looking to be over it, but you're in denial about that. Um, so you're like, fuck it, I'm gonna go out and get drunk and kiss anyone, just make out with someone, because I can. Because I can. I'm allowed, and I'm alone. I'm lonely now, but we're not looking at that. We're just gonna get drunk and do something silly. So you go out, you kiss someone, mush faces, and you feel nothing. You pull away and you're like, oh, it's not them. Oh, what the fuck? You feel a bit shameful, feel a bit like a slut, whatever that means. And then you, uh, Call a taxi, go home, sit in the car, and try and not fall deep, deep down into I'm lonely and lost, and they're gone. Um, yeah. Nice. What? Well, thank you. That's good. <laughs> what does it Why mean? Why don't you write a nice one next time, Dodie? Yeah, I should probably do that. My therapist <laughs> is always like, make it... Maybe write about something, <laughs> something like... Maybe write about puppies this time, and yeah. Hazel can just film some puppies yeah, for a day. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's a very, it's a weirdly like complicated and not complicated song, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, it's, I think, a very simple premise. I think an awful lot of people watching it and in general will like fully know that feeling, fully know that phase of a breakup when you're almost sort of doing stuff to try and distract yourself or keep yourself occupied and push through all the bad feelings. Um, and it's just not satisfying you and it's not making you feel better. Um, and that seems like a very simple premise, but I think there's like there's so much more in it. Like it's the lyrics are very layered and complicated and very beautiful. And it really reminded me of um, Human, actually, mm. which is we didn't plan for me to like do that one and do this one. It just sort of fell that way. But when we started talking about it, it had similar vibes of Dodie just has this amazing magical way of making a song that is like two things simultaneously. And at first it's it's it comes across almost kind of like not upbeat but happy you know like there's a kind of doop -a -doop -a -doop. it's it's you know the 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 instrumentation and that kind of stuff just comes across as this is going to be a nice song and then you get devastated uh -huh. um <clears throat> you have a beautiful way of doing that and having these like really haunting vocals with when you really listen to the lyrics they're like so painful and then the, the, there's a, a lovely melody to it but then these undertones of like um, those kind of rumbles that you put in it and that kind of stuff so mm. yeah it reminded me of human and the theme as well of someone searching for something it still felt like someone like just so lost lost looking yeah. to fill some holes hey oh um <laughs> and not succeeding and and yeah with human it was sort of like we we interpreted that as building lots of robot boys and sort of trying to create the perfect circumstances and in this, I think it was just a sort of more grown up representation of that. It's this woman who just isn't OK. She's not OK. She, there's a lot of loss and longing and, and loneliness there. And um, she's desperately sort of trying to get back what she had and trying to recreate it with strangers, I guess. And they're not they're not bad people. 
you know, I think that was important to us that we we create those dates and yeah. make them look it's nice. It's not meant to be like an uncomfortable thing. Like that's not it. Like for the the person yeah. playing the other part is just, you know, out and about. <laughs> like out and about. They met yeah. on Tinder or whatever, and yeah. they're just. It's pure. It's definitely yeah. consensual, but it's just. She's not there. Not right. Yeah. Yeah. She's not there, not and she it. she maybe is in the moment. I don't know about you, but for me with some particularly like some of the kissing scenes and sex scenes it was that bit where you can this is a a very vulnerable thing to say but um like when you're missing somebody it's very it's very difficult to talk to other people sometimes it's almost sometimes easier to kiss someone Mm. or have sex with someone because you can kind of just let yourself go in the moment and almost it's so performative yeah 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 so that like those scenes she's there she is enjoying herself like she's not having a bad time it's just then she remembers at the end of each one of these encounters she pulls away and sees it's it's just Mm. this faceless figure it's just empty it's just it means nothing to her um i would love to talk about why we chose to go so sexy Sexy. (laughs) I would like to say <clears throat> that maybe this is unfair to say, but like I think there's an anger when I look at all of the comments of people of a thumbnail with me with my back out and my little side tip. Little side boob. Yeah, and like it's not fair, but I feel a frustration. I'm like, like people are like, oh my god, like she's so <laughs> naked and sexual. Like who is our precious Dodie? And I'm like, Ugh! like I'm 26. Of course, of course I have been in this. Of course position. I have a back. Exactly. Didn't you think I had a back? Yeah. Um. So yeah, and like so, d- like yeah. Why why did we? First, yeah, we chose to like show the sort of like side of me to kind of break through that really. And um just taking off my socks while you're talking yeah, sure, about it. It's just quite yeah, warm. Yeah. <laughs> um and someone mentioned earlier that um it is very flea bag inspired. Yeah, someone said flea bag, which um, is a, and a delight. Because right. that was fully one of the inspirations. Yeah, I think but the fact that people are commenting and are so shocked by it is the exact reason that we did it and w- that we felt it needed to be done. And I it was again another one of those things where you and I just saw it I immediately. Like I was like can we please not put you in dungarees in this yeah. one? Like, can we please, like... And again, I love, I love human. I love that we made that. And I love your other videos. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying I don't. It just felt right for this song and this album. This album feels more mature. It's definitely dealing with really mature themes. And also, I've seen you grow up. You know mm. what I mean? Like, we've, we've been in this friendship, like, what? Eight years now or whatever. And, um you're a grown-ass woman and you have a sex life and you date people and you do have a back i've seen it i know it's lovely a big sexy back <laughs> a big sexy back so yeah i think it was important to the both of us we both immediately immediately were like this needs to feel more grown up more mature um if we're going to talk about like i think the thing was you know the song is i kissed someone and there's something quite innocent in that but it's actually about a wider Mm. Um, sexual theme I guess of kind of trying to distract or avoid or fill a hole with with sex or alcohol or experiences that aren't necessarily healthy or aren't necessarily um, filling the void Um, and making you feel better Anna says from an editing point of view how did you get the faces to be blurred I loved the effect by the way oh very exciting Um, so um, Dave Brain is our lovely um, VFX artist. And we knew immediately, as soon as I was talking about faceless people, I was like, it's Dave. Yeah, yeah. Someone called Dave. Fun fact, um, he did the Tom Skirt one, right? He, no, different oh. different Dave. We have two, guys, the same we have two guys named Dave who do Dave VFX, both very, very talented. Um, but yeah, so Jack Howard edited the video and we sort of edited, well, I made it with that in mind. Like we knew there would be certain shots so we had to, when we went into it for filming purposes, like we we knew we had to get certain shots in a certain way to make it as easy as possible on the VFX artist. So um, yeah, we isolated those and those were like, a lot of the way we shot it was quite ad hoc. Like a lot of it was just letting things kind of play out, like literally putting D- Dodie on a date with someone and in these different locations and just letting them interact. But yeah, for some specific shots like that, we had to know in advance what they were going to be because there's certain things that we can do camera wise and lighting wise to make it as easy as possible and then in the edit the plan was for me and Jack to choose um which of those shots were gonna make it in I don't know that we always planned to use or there was like 
four that I definitely wanted, which was the f the first one after you pull away from the kiss, the one where you're sat up in bed having pulled back, the one of the girl sort of going down on you and looking up, mm. and the last one when you turn over in mm. bed and the guy beside you on the pillow is gone. But then, so they, they all made it in and they were done, but then there was the added one of that last shot where you're in the cinema, which is actually the bar. Yeah, I was surprised that you blurred that. Yeah. It makes sense though, it's so dreamy. I want. I yeah. can't wait for people to find that. I know, that it's such like, a tiny- The cinema's in the bar. Such a tiny little So detail. messed up, so dreamlike. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's, um, it was, it's kind of like, it's a weirdly complicated process because you basically have to, with such a short turnaround, we have to, I don't know if anyone cares about this stuff, but we have to get those shots off to the VFX artist before mm -hmm. the edit's mm -hmm. even done mm -hmm. um, and be like, we're going to choose these shots and then he sends us back stuff. And so we were watching, <laughs> this is a fun fact actually, um, as Jack was editing it, <laughs> he, he would send me a cut and like we were watching it with just normal faces mm. so that first bit when you pull back and you look really horrified and then it pans over and it's just our friend Niall yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just him like with his hair all with messed his hair up mess, just and like, look at his like <laughs> <laughs> so when I was watching it every time during the edit I had to like kind of cover his face with my hand on the screen so that I could like not laugh at his just his <laughs> face <laughs> because he's a friend of mine um so the, so it was really interesting to see that come together and then finally have all the vfx mm. done and be able to stand behind people um, while they watched it speaking of that scene a lot of people have been asking about the intimate scenes and they want to know if it was uncomfortable what it was like so i'll talk a little bit about that. that um yeah so um we knew that we wanted like people who like weren't how do we even say We wanted this? actors in yeah. it. I think we wanted to distinguish this from your world. Yes, yes. And the world people know of you. So because so many of your friends turn up in your vlogs and stuff, I, and also so some are actors. be like, oh, Dodie's kissing Dan. Yeah, oh, yeah, I didn't want it to be people that they're familiar totally. with. So, so that you would think of them in the real world. I wanted it to be unknowns for you. Mm. Um. So yeah, uh, I kissed Niall. Niall? Um, big Michael. beardy Nile. <laughs> big beardy Nile with his big farmer head and all. We love him. Um, Nile's uh, Irish, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should put, and he calls himself a farmer. He was so nice. Um, I just want to say everyone was so nice and like were. so respectful. Um, and that's another reason we wanted to work with professional actors as well, I think, was that people could kind of come in and just switch on and do a job. Yeah. Here's the thing. Like, I think I built it up in my mind. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. And like. Also, like, it's been a while, so I was, like, interesting. But I think when you're in the room, it's so, like, like t -t -t -t, you know, like, okay, and then, then we'll kiss here, and then, like, we'll go here, and then we'll stay on the bed, and then push. It's, mm -hmm. like, so you're in the scene. Like, it really is just acting, like, so logistical. And, like, everyone's so... um like respectful and like oh okay i'm gonna i'm gonna mount you now it's okay <laughs> there was a lot of that <laughs> are you comfortable are you that. okay with this like it was a lot of like yeah. consent and and talking it was which helps whatever so much. the opposite of wine scene is i imagine oh lord <laughs> it the yeah. opposite it was just so much are you comfortable are you okay yeah is it like let me know if at any point you want to stop or like you feel uncomfortable and we closed off the set mm. so it was just so usually you have like the whole crew and you have people kind of standing around watching the takes but whenever we were doing those takes it was just me and uh yeah. kieran o'brien who's Kieran's a Brian. wonderful dop um and then yourself and whatever actor it was and oh my god i literally was helping like take your cardigan on and off and stuff yeah. so we just didn't have to have any other people can we talk about do you want to talk about it yeah do you want me to tell the story <laughs> from my yeah. perspective okay so there was a scene yeah. that hazel wanted uh or, or a shot where i was making out with niall on the bed on the it was bed. kind of like we knew we wanted a frenzy it made it it's in it's in, it's in yeah, yeah we yeah. we wanted a frenzy of like kissing and dates and like faces blurred and that kind of thing so we were like just getting some extra shots so me, me and Niall, and I, I'm just, she's like, are you comfortable just wearing a bra? And I'm like, yes, that'd be absolutely fine. Um, so I, you know, took off my whatever. And like, I'm just wearing this little bra with little ties. Very cute. cute. Um, me and Niall, you know, just get going comfortable it, in the bed. And then he's like, okay, action. So we're just like making out. Doo -ba -doo -ba. And I feel like the bra start to slip. And I'm like, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't really tell when, I can't really tell when a nipple's out. Like... You know, I, I'm terrified. It's a problem, isn't it? It's just like not, yeah. So I have a look and I'm like, it's probably fine. So, but 
so from my perspective, so when, when you're on set directing, you have a monitor. So the cameraman is over there with his big camera doing his job. So he's like hovering over Jodie and Niall while they're doing kissy kissy and he's being very professional. And I'm standing way back with a, a tiny little TV on a stand and I'm watching, I'm watching the shot as you do. And then I'm watching the bra sort of creep more and more down and I'm like, that's probably fine. <laughs> We're both having the same, that's probably fine. And I was like, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just keep an eye. And then I just keep going. To I'm be clear, scene. Dodie and Niall are like in it. They're kissing. Both of their eyes are closed. All four of their eyes are closed, in fact. And um, <laughs> and then just full nipple. Just full out of pause. Just boob. Boop. Just boobs out. And there, I do want to be very clear that maybe three seconds pass in which I don't remember thinking about this at all. <laughs> just my, I guess my thought process was I need to deal with that before Niall opens his eyes. Like there's no Kieran's definitely seen it because yeah. he's on camera. Kieran's filmed my boobs before. He's seen it. Yeah. But I think I'd like to protect Niall and Dodie from having to deal with it. So I just ran forward, hand already sort of cupped. You can see it. <laughs> also, we're filming in slightly slow motion. Yeah. So in the footage, you just see my hand come into frame really slowly and just cup her boob. <laughs> it's so cute. From yeah. my perspective, I'm just like kissing, 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 and then I just feel and I'm like, oh. Guess that's I was out. Like, We're just gonna stop there, and Nasser. Sort of I was like, "No, could you just turn away for a sec there?" Oh, it was very sweet. Yeah. And he turns away, and I pulled your phone. Like, Daddy, like, can you just <laughs> immediately? I'm like, "Is that okay? Was that a like? Was that a problem? Like, but what if any other director had just come in and just <laughs> touched yeah, your right, boob? Like, but I was like, you. But "What are the laws? Oh the lesser of the two evils?" <laughs> <They're just like laughs> <laughs> I guess this uh, is the benefits of having a a female director and b your best friend. Um, um, I just want to answer. There's like a few comments it. talking about um, the pandemic, so we should probably just yes, yes, quickly say that like obviously everyone beforehand was tested, um, filled out a form, yes. like temperature checks, all that kind of thing. So the video is produced by Sophie Newton and Jack Harrod. Also, we should mention a bunch of people. We'll do that oh, in two yeah, seconds. Who, who helped make it um, as wonderful as it is? Um, but Sophie Newton and Jack Harrod were producing, and they. Um, they went through all of the COVID precautions and guidelines. They made sure everybody was tested, filled out, uh, forms. Filled out a form, had to send in their positive results before they could come on Negative set. results. Uh, <laughs> Never- Negative! <laughs> <laughs> they had to make sure everyone had COVID. They should change that. Surely a positive result is a happy yeah. one. <laughs> anyway, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so they had, to, they had to prove that they like had got their results and stuff before they were allowed on set. And then... Pretty much we were the only people we saw all weekend and they were told, like, once you're off set, you go home. And we also split up mm. the people coming in, the actors, like, the crew were the crew and then the actors were split up by days it as well. It is difficult. So. It made it odd. And obviously all the crew wore masks. Yeah, um, we wore masks as much as we could yeah. as well. And It's definitely a different experience. Um, it's weird and difficult. Yeah, it's particularly, like directing i know that sounds strange but i'm mm. talking to you all day mm. and like i feel like it's difficult when you have to particularly have like kind of a more serious or emotional chat with an actor mm. and your face is covered mm. it's it's a bit but um but we may do and do. um yeah it was just interesting having lots of contact after a year of you were such a known. trooper i ah. want to also say it's such a fucking pleasure working with you <laughs> like literally was thinking about this last night i was just like she just throws herself into it. Like, you really just take on any challenge. Like I love it. it I'm was... always doing weird shit for music videos. You are. The guiltless, I fell off a fucking and two... You just fell backwards two off. Two meter Yeah, platform. I was thinking about that last night. I was like, she just well, does whatever you tell her. What else was it? What else have I done? Yeah, I kissed a bunch of people. And that was difficult. Like, let's slow motion. Also, like... You, we had to have a chat beforehand and kind of talk mm. about like potential triggers and mm. ways you might be uncomfortable with it and things we had to avoid and things that were okay and like there was a lot of talk around it and then even with all the other actors I called them up all up beforehand and really walked them through every scene I tried to show them shots as much as possible like we'll be trying to match this shot or it will look like this or this is exactly how much of your back we're going to see and then having chats with them before they came on set and there's like there's a, I think when people are doing that it's a really vulnerable thing to do and you just like you just launched yourself into it and did it. And I'm, I'm, I'm nice. honestly always so amazed at the end so of the day. So am I, to be honest. I can't believe it. I can't, <laughs> I like watch that and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, if you're ever curious about how you look in the business, just hire a whole crew. Just to hire a crew to. You look out. good. I do look good. You look lovely. Look well, so we obviously good. cut out all the bits where you looked hideous. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maria keeps asking question for Hazel reminded me of your short film Dementia was that connection intentional it wasn't intentional I think it's just a theme I'm really interested in mm. um, 
the idea I guess it's it's like the most horrific idea to me is that you can't even recognize the people closest to you sorry if that's like super triggering for everyone no it's um, accurate it's so true yeah, yeah sometimes I'm like I just need to be vulnerable right now I like I'm not yeah. like I keep thinking you're someone else yeah. yeah it's really it's really tough so whether that's a mental condition or um, a memory issue or something like this where it's you're actually hoping that there's somebody else and you kind of get lost in a moment and pull back and they're not who you expected them to be um, that's kind of yeah that's a theme that kind of comes up for me and um, the idea of being that vulnerable in such a exposed position of like actually being physically close to someone in a sexual way and then realizing oh my god I'm not close to this person I don't know this person at all um, mm. is kind of creepy as well so we kind of wanted to play with that I think oh, Madison said I love the fact that the last shot looked like it was from the perspective of a person leaving was that intentional Interesting. I love it when people do that have different readings yeah and I'm I like that. yeah it sure. was intentional mm-hmm. um, no that was not what was in but my head it. but that like I that love that people so will well. just take There's, I've also had different people sort of saying different things about who they thought those characters were in the video or mm. what they thought of the first day and like how much it meant to them or how much it meant to you or like who was this person you were trying to remember was it one of these people all mixed up in the jumble like there's there's lots of sort of questions around that as well, which I kind of love mm. when you. Oh, do you want to do you want to talk about like what you said to each actor? Sure, because I found do. this very interesting because <laughs> I didn't know until the day. Oh yeah, you didn't you didn't know until after we shot. Um, yeah. So and this is actually something that Jack had said to me beforehand as well about discussing with each of the actors what their character would be. And it took me a while, like I needed to have everyone cast. I knew I wanted roughly certain, I wanted them all to be different, but I didn't know until I'd met them. So they, I knew, I knew Niall and Rebecca. Um, the other two actors, uh, Michael and Linford, who were, they were all just so wonderful. Um, I hadn't met before. So they, they didn't fully really realise this, but the first time I rang them to have a quick chat through the shoot, I was kind of gauging their personalities a little mm. bit as well. Um and then just seeing like which characters they would fit nicely into because these were very quick snapshots and it it needed to be like not a big character you had to play for the day. I thought it would be easiest if they could kind of play to their own strengths. Um, So Niall is the first guy Dodie sees in in sort of the first half of the video and goes on that lovely big date with. And yeah, he was he was the one that was like looking for love. He was. Yeah, I love that. He really like he really liked you, and he yeah. was really enjoying the day, and he wanted to get to know you more. And he, he I think he was in the indie rom com, mm. like he was, you know, the music was swelling, and he was going, "Oh my god, yeah. this could be the girl for me." The, I think the plan, like the original idea that we had, was to have the camera like swirl around us, like La La Land, yeah, like style. a three sixty sort mm. of. But the set we was just, only two walls. Yeah, we <laughs> so conveyed the energy. We instead. went for different energy. So he was that. Um, Rebecca was. Um, very intense and I don't want to use the word forceful but almost that, that was she, character, she was yeah. she wanted which was she wanted funny it funny because like <laughs> her in real life was so respectful like she so like thought, I was like oh I'm gonna use that when she was like are you okay is this comfortable I was like yeah. oh, I'm gonna use that for for Michael yeah she was so sweet um but yeah her character was very full-on very keen um Michael was uh, a bit too chatty he was the one who just kind of like keeps going on a date and you're just kind of nodding along and he was and like sweet and not in a bad way just um just really keen and really puppy dog kind of energy and like wanting to impress and wanting to talk a lot and uh Linford was quite shy oh that was sweet yeah he was meant to be very awkward um, I, yeah I asked him in one of the scenes yeah. to kiss you really awkwardly like, which was such a weird direction and bless him he he really did he it. He just took it because like we didn't really get much time to talk, and then it was just like thrown into a scene. Okay, can you like kiss awkwardly? Imagine like meeting someone the first time and being like, okay, we have to kiss. Like we're not really sure of each other now. Just like like lips touching. It so was, intense. That's what I mean. But you both just being such troopers. And oh, then no, on top oh, of no, that, oh, um, no, oh 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 no. Are we not live anymore? Oh my god. Oh. We're having a little internet issue. Oh no. And I don't know if we're live. I'm checking oh my, God, my text what's happening? to see. Oh my God, YouTube is down. Okay, do you want a hotspot? YouTube is down. It, it looks like it. <gasps> oh shit. Oh no, that's okay. Everything's okay. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God. oh, God. oh, God. oh 
Oh god. Okay. Oh, god. Is this going to be the same link? No, I don't think it is, darling. Fuck. That's okay. Are you a new key. duplicate stream key? Ooh. Okay, hold up. Do you want me to post on your Insta or anywhere to tell people? Um, oh, oh, they can still see us. No, thank I don't, you. I don't know if they. Yeah, I'm. I've got. Was I the? Don't, I don't think we. The thing says it was down. Um. I don't think they can. How about? I, shall I just do a quick phone call? I don't know. And check. Just lag. Can I streaming? Shit. There's a lag. Oh no! What's Hello, that? are we still live? I don't think it is. <laughs> okay, no. Jack can still see us, but there's a lag. I don't think it's we're absolutely live, apparently. We're not, we're not. But Dodie doesn't seem, to... but we are, because he's watching us. He's watching me on the phone to him. So should should we just crack on? Excellent connection. Okay, everyone's saying they can see us. We're good. It just disappeared. Okay, bye. Um, Reb's trying to ring me. Everyone's right. She can see us, babe. We're fine. Josh is on. We can see okay, you. Okay, fine. Okay. The, the I need you to know that that wasn't that was gone. That was so. It gone. It said the internet is gone. YouTube is gone. Oh, everything is gone. Fuck. And then it went blank. <laughs> Wow, fascinating. I guess just like the whole stream key thing. Thank God for technology when technology fucks up, eh? Thank you all our friends who just let me know that oh we're alive. Oh my God, yeah, Josh texted me, Reb texted me. I was just about to mention Reb. Oh yeah, Reb, yeah, I was someone, gonna say, someone Reb, was like, Reb was in it, but we didn't see Reb them. is in it. Um, Her face is not, unfortunately. Such is Hollywood. Um, <laughs> It's just Reb's legs. <laughs> it's just Reb's legs. The reason Her being, legs. genuinely, and this broke my heart, but she was there on set all day. We filmed several scenes. She was on dates with you. She was dancing with you. She was in the pub with you. There was lots of stuff, but we shot for two days. I've never shot anything this way before. Usually I have my storyboard or my script. I know I know exactly what shots we need to get and we're gonna, we, we get them. But in this, I knew I kind of wanted to retell it in the edit and just get all this footage of you on all these dates so that we could just mess it up mm. and fuck with it in the edit and create kind of a frenzy and whoever mentioned dementia, it was that kind of vibe. So Reb had scenes that her whole head was in. Yeah. And then when it came to the edit, honestly what happened was the song moves really fast. Yeah, it's so and fast, it's like two minutes yeah, long. Yeah, once we kind of got to the frenzy, we were flying through lots of shots and I mean, Jack edited it beautifully and we had to make some calls on it. And some like we had we had shots in that just they just didn't fit for like a million reasons. The way like it's edited together, like he, sometimes he'll cut on um, a light flare to kind of bring you into the next shot. Or sometimes it will kind of be a match cut. Um, sometimes like we had that shot on the roof where we go from one side of your head to the other. And oh, you're yeah, in a different I day. love that one. So there's lots of different kind of reasons for that. And then. Yeah, it, they just they just didn't land. So I had to text poor Rev and say, I'm really sorry, your head is not in it, but your ass is, and it looks really great. I was um, upset that we we didn't kiss. You were upset that you didn't kiss Rev? Well, maybe have a separate chat with her about that, <laughs> not on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> we keep saying it. We're like, oh, if you, want, if about you want to do that, you can. You know, this Well, you can't really. She's in a relationship. Um, um, yeah, and I think also... I'm an Easter egg, baby. She's an Easter egg. Oh, I love you so much, Rab. And she was such a ledge and she just like was there all day making everyone feel better and like being lovely and that genuinely added to it too. But those shots, those two separate shots that she's in and they do really add to it. Like there's nothing else that could have gone in their place. I remember when we were looking for something to go there at that specific beat, it just felt so right that it was a shot of the two of you in bed. Mm. And I think it was important that we have another woman in it as well mm. that's she's like you've had a separate thing yeah. with Rebecca yeah um and I think it was that thing as well of like when we what we ended up with was one shot of Reb's face and when that hadn't been established it seemed really like yeah oh Reb oh, Reb, oh okay and yeah, we're done yeah, like yeah. so yeah but. um yeah there's there's a shot of our legs right and it looks it looks sexy it as. Looks sexy. Same with like so many shots. Like there's a shot of me and Michael. In fact, the thumbnail where like it's my big Don't sexy back. Don't ruin the bat. magic. 
Let's just say it wasn't as they hot were as it, having it looked. Sex and it was sure, great yeah, they and were. Hot. Except it wasn't that way, <laughs> especially with me and Reb. Like, there's a scene, where, like a scene. Our leg, like we were just told to like rub our legs a bit, <laughs> and we were just like pissing ourselves laughing. Like Reb was here, and I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing. She's like, I don't know. But it looked but like it a looks frenzy so of hot. legs, it which is, is what I you wanted. Like, it looks quite porny. They kept you didn't know whether you were gonna use I it. I wasn't gonna use it because it did look a bit porny. But we we picked one tiny bit of it that did. It did look nice in the end. I couldn't tell on the day. On the day, I was like, I don't know if that's a bit much. Because we panned up and you just get like, ah, and it was a lot. And I was like, I don't know, I'm not going to put that in the video. But when we put it all together, it actually felt completely in keeping. It, it didn't really feel out of place. Yeah. And there's also that one of you from slightly far away. Also, the things you end up saying in an edit, like the what you have to call the shot. Like there were so many times I was like, where have we put uh, far away lesbians? As opposed to leggy lesbians. <laughs> like a, I had to know what each one of the shots was called. And you would just sort of say random things. Should we talk about our lovely team? Yeah, all right then. Let's talk about our lovely team. I mean, I think I've mentioned them, but I just want to make sure everyone gets credit. Cause, like, all right, we're talking Kieran O'Brien, TFU. We're talking, we're talking Jack, Jack Howard, Howard and editing, Newton. And Sophie Newton, producing, sweet legend. We're talking Michael, Rebecca, Linford, Niall, Reb Day. Who else? Uh, Eliza. Eliza. So sorry, I'm shit with names. Ellie, I've been calling Spigarot. her Eliza Ellie Spaghetti for like, yeah, everyone, everyone Ellie calls Spaghetti, Ellie Spaghetti for years. So when I see her in down, it might even be Eliza. I don't know. I I just, I just anyway, know she's a big ledge. Um, yeah, on the camera team, Richard Scott was on the camera team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who are we forgetting? I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. This is why I never list people. Because yeah, it never guaranteed. Goes right. I still can't get over the fact that I did my um, talking to my 30 year old <laughs> self video and I didn't mention Reb. I thought you were gonna say that time you called your was it your violinist oh, the wrong name? My cellist. I called. <laughs> I called Sophie Claire. <laughs> on stage. Similar energy, right? Similar energy. Similar I was like, energy. And, uh, thank you to my. When um, I do my Oscar clothes. speech, I'm not mentioning anybody. No. When I'm not mentioning anybody by when. name because guaranteed I'll forget them all. Um, so I'll just put people into sort of subcategories. Um, but yes, no, the team, the team were so lovely and so good. Even the guy uh, Rash who worked at the location. Oh yeah, he's, he's just great. this guy who worked at the location and he was just there all day, like kind of overseeing things. And Diana just lovely. said, "Who directed, Dodie?" No, hey, Hazel directed. This is Hazel <laughs> Hayes, the director of I Kissed Someone. It was Hello, me. hi, it's me. Can you sing a song for us? No. I'm gone. <laughs> I kissed someone. Don't. <laughs> no. No. Um, how did you know about the colour scheme of the video? I saw someone saying that the room looked quite 20s. And then it looked very dark at the end. Everyone's yes. talking about the lighting. Do you want to um, chat about the lighting? Yeah, there was lots of um, references for the lighting. I The overall vibe, which I'm sure Jodie is sick of hearing at this stage, um, was I didn't want it to be obviously set in any time period, in any city or place. I didn't want it to be identified. In the same way that I didn't want your friends in it and people who were identifiable, I didn't want the place or the time to be identifiable. So I didn't want it to be like, oh, that's clearly a 60s homage or it's you know it's clearly the 90s um we did happen to just get a location with a massive retro wall in it which i thought looked quite 70s but someone's just said it's 20s which is great because mm. that's exactly what we wanted so we kind of mixed because we had that big retro wall which felt very sort of 70s to me we mixed that with some mid-century furniture and then also the um the tabletop mirror the three-piece tabletop mirror which feels very, i think that's quite 20s mm. and we hung pearls and stuff on mm. it that's probably why <laughs> we had these huge lamps that sophie brought from her parents house which were really just like these old mismatching lamps which i loved mm. and then i don't and then the bedspread was quite modern it was just like a green plane and the, an ikea bed so yeah i think and that and then the like all the locations were actually within one location so it was this sort of huge warehouse where we built a bedroom which I wanted to do because I wanted to get that pullback shot at the end. So the bedroom needed to be not a real bedroom. It needed to be in the corner of a warehouse. And then the pub was like downstairs in that location. The cinema was just like seats mm. in front of a curtain. Yeah, thank and God. The location was so it was good. amazing. So good for what we needed. And the rooftop. Yeah, we were also in the same location for the rooftop. Um, so I kind mm, of... Some pumpkin face says, hey, Dodie and Hayes. I loved the shot on top of the building. Where did you film it? It was, um, what's it called? 
It's called One Friendly Place. How cool is that? It's on it's Friendly Place and it's one. One Friendly Place. One Friendly Place. So, like, a great yeah, it was venue. all it was all just in, in, in the so one location for two days we shot. Um, and even that rooftop shot, I don't know if that's massively identifiable as London. Like, I think you can kind of see City West off in, in the distance. City West? Is that a place in London or Dublin? Have I just made that up? I've never heard of that. A place in Dublin, isn't it? <laughs> fucking ignore me it might be I don't know Citibank and all those places um yeah. how do you budget for a music video like this how do you budget for a music video like this that was the producers job yeah. which was Jack I and Sophie and that was Doji says hello Oops. I have this much money and we say okay well for that you can have this and then we make it um let's see it's a very very hey Doji how dumb, dumb emotionally dumb. prepared were you to film the music video that's a good question that is a good question um i mean i guess we talked about this a little bit earlier but like yeah there was definitely a moment where i was like i'm like not sure i was like i'm yeah that yeah there, you were like describing what like you were like uh, how comfortable are you i don't think i had time to think about it really i was mm-hmm. so busy and then it suddenly dawned on me that i was about to be very intimate with a lot of people a lot of strangers and i was like oh i don't know how i'm gonna do that um so I don't really know, to be honest. I think maybe there was a day or two before where I was like a bit freaked out. And like, I even said to you like, oh, maybe we can't do that. Like, I think I might get triggered. I don't know. You may or may not remember, but the very first time we spoke about it, we decided like, let's, you know, let's make it sexy. You know, mm. let's go beyond kissing and, and have some more intimate scenes. And what you said to me was like, yeah, let's just go big. A cheeky thrust even. Oh, yeah, I did say that. A cheeky thrust. I like, because I like that fucking flea bag scene where it's her and the free- well, priest. That's like, the it's thing. So, it's hot yeah. and it's intimate and it's passionate and it's what you wanted. And then I think we kind of rolled with that. And I put this whole theme and storyboard and everything together. And I was kind of coming to you with shots from, from flea bag and from other... Like, there was some shots. Obviously, it took inspiration from Eternal Sunshine, obviously. Yeah, I've um, noticed a lot of people saying right. that. Right. But there was, like, the sex scene in Solaris, and I was showing you those shots, and there was a, a film called, I want to say Threesome, that we kind of, that vintage feel, and there was, like, a lot of sex scenes in that. And then when I f- actually showed be- Dodie, and when I told her about, like, for example, the shot of, uh, I said, like, there's going to be a shot of a girl going down on you. And, of course, that's a bit, like... Mm. that's a lot but what it actually is is from the side you see a girl kissing your belly Mm. and then from a pov you just see her looking up so you get the impression that that's happening without actually having to do it but yeah we had a call and i was like i know we said cheeky thrusts and all but how prepared are you actually yeah and then i was like oh i don't know i don't know but then on the day yeah everyone was just so respectful and so professional that it didn't it never felt it never felt like in any way like sexy i'm so glad yeah it, like <laughs> obviously obviously it didn't like that no. it would feel inappropriate but it never did it always just felt like we were part of a scene yeah which is interesting because like you you always say like how could you know like normal people like how could they do that without a yeah the scenes like, get, getting normal aroused. people were so intense but, but I guess i'm sure that was they were just, just performing yeah. yeah absolutely um Right, let's see. What happens to the furniture after a shoot? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Um, some a lot of that furniture was part of the location, so this is part of the budgeting. Is mm. like, do we have enough budget to build an entire set and furnish it? No. So then you kind of try and get a location that will include that stuff in the cost. So, um, like honest to god, the producers just did such a good job because Sophie was art director as well as producer. So between her and Jack, they sourced a lot of the stuff and then just made this bedroom and like the bed was a mattress from upstairs in the location on two massive boxes we mm. didn't have a base it's literally not so bad we just hung a sheet over the bottom of it yeah. and there was no other wall so we kind of brought screens around and put a chair there and just gave the illusion of it being a three-walled bedroom but it actually was only two what are um, you giggling at i have some really, giggling at giggler. <laughs> i just have some really interesting questions we have a question in from jack he says do you wear wigs <laughs> He says, will you wear wigs? Maybe. <laughs> when <laughs> will you wear wigs? <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know. Will you wear wigs? <laughs> there is a video of Elijah Wood being pranked by his co-star on Lord of the Rings where he gets asked if he will wear wigs. And the whole way through this process, <laughs> I don't know what. It's because will in the you video, wear wigs? we didn't know how many actors we could get. And I said, <laughs> maybe some of them could wear wigs and then the next thing was just every day someone would be like uh can i just ask you a quick question yeah yeah what 
Will you wear wigs? <laughs> it's not funny. When will you wear wigs? I'm obsessed. I'm oh absolutely my obsessed God. with that interview. It's my favourite thing after oh, the Ben Affleck commentary. So good. Okay. Somebody's asking if it was inspired by BLY Manor, and I don't know what that is. No, because um, I don't know what it is. I'll have a look about it. I'll have a look. Did you ever fart? No. Jesus. But it was probably a worry. Yeah. Um, when will you wear wigs? When will you wear when wigs? <laughs> Uh, I love that some people know. <laughs> Everyone is saying I love it. <laughs> I love it. Oh, if you God. haven't seen it, look look up Elijah Wood. Will you wear wigs? Will you wear wigs? It's and watch the full version. It's incredible. Um, um, right. Any other questions? There's there's a few around, but I feel like there's we could probably around. we could probably just chat until like 15 minutes time because we've been streaming for well we thought we were streaming well we thought we were streaming we thought for we were a streaming. solid 10 minutes yeah, before yeah. we were it'll be an hour pretty I just want to make they're all here and if they've got questions I want to yeah, right. Right. get to you're as right. many as we can how do you okay someone keeps asking this question how do you fight the male gaze when you want to be and feel sexy express sex on scene <sighs> I love you question. music video is beautiful that's a good question Alice. it is a good question um I just don't care I'm like it's clearly not about that is it <laughs> How is do it? you fight the male gaze when you're being sexy? Yeah. I think I really just have to be like, that is something that isn't to do with me at all. It's going to be a byproduct. Yeah. But also every time your feet are seen on the internet, that's going to happen. Yeah. And you can't help that. So You know what I mean? Like, I think I'm like, whatever. Like, go for it. You know? Yeah, I think it shouldn't half the stop ma- Half you. the gaze. Half the gaze. I think, I think we... <sighs> It's nice to make a thing that shows a woman being very sexy and owning her sexuality from a woman's perspective. Mm. And I know that that shouldn't be a thing that's separate, but it just is. I actually, when I was making my video last week talking about this, I was, it's because I was putting up my Lost in Translation poster Mm -hmm. and I, you know, it's that shot of just Scarlett Johansson's Mm -hmm, ass mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, at the very opening of of the film. And that film's directed by Sofia Coppola and... I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting that a film directed by a woman opens on a shot of a woman's ass and it's through these kind of sheer pink knickers and it's sexy. It's really hot. It's very attractive and it's like it's a cool shot. And I think if a man did that in a film, it you kind of see it a different way, but it's, mm. it's sort of different when a woman is owning it. And that's mm. what I felt about this was I I sort of have a different kind of privilege that I get to do this stuff with you and have these conversations and I understand your experience. God, I never thought about that. This video would never have been made if it wasn't for you, obviously. But also, like, it would never have been made if it was a man. Like, if a man had come to me and be like, I was thinking about this, I'd be like... And I think they may have done it very differently. Like, Mm. I I think we both were coming from a very specific place of we understand this experience Mm. and also the fact that I could call you a few days before and, like, not just as a... Like, as your friend... (laughs) You could cut my boob. The fact that I could cut your boob. And call you and be like, okay, are there any specific triggers we need to avoid? Like, that's maybe a conversation that a man wouldn't think to have because he just hasn't had the experiences that we have. So, Mm. yeah, I think there's something lovely about that. We get to do that with each other in such a comfy way. I will just say, everyone's asking you, is it difficult? It's difficult for me, bitch. Oh, yeah. I had to watch my little sister basically get (laughs) fucked on camera like a lot. (laughs) Like, on set, it was so... On set, it was, like, so professional. I'm looking at the frame. I'm looking at the shot. I'm looking at your boob that's just popped out and it needs to go back in. But... In the edit, I remember there was one night, me and Jack were editing quite late into the evening, and I was just sat watching it over and over and watching all these clips of you, and at one point I was like, I have to just take a break. Like, <laughs> she's my baby sister. Oh my God, I didn't just... even think about that. I would find yeah. that very weird. It was weird. If I had to watch you do that. Because yeah. you also, you're acting, and you're acting like you're really enjoying it, and I'm watching it being like, this is uncomfortable It's so me. funny how performative <laughs> it was, though. Like, yeah. I can't... And, like... Uh, it was weird like it was weird making out right and like going through all of the motions of like making out and like you know moving your body the way you're supposed to like where you're supposed to go but then having these limitations of like oh no no i do not move my hand down to the boob like no no don't do that so i was just like no i saw niall's hand sort of wander down your back once and then just stayed exactly on the small of you and i was like good lad not good 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 lad um, it must Rhea, be strange. Rhea just said, um, question, did you drink real alcohol on set? Uh, for the most part, no. I drank schler, delicious. Um, so much schler. And then for the last bit, um, we ran out of schler and used red wine instead. But also because you wanted, like, a, I mean, you didn't really have time. Well, what I wanted was for us to 
get for you to have enough that you'd have red wine lips, which I realize we could have just done with makeup, but there's a different, there's a thing yeah. that you I get. I also want to be like in character. Yeah, I kind of wanted her in character and the taste of them, like not to be drunk, but the taste of wine is a very specific thing. And, and it kind of, I thought we'd kind of keep her in a zone, but it ended up, we were really way past time that evening and just plowing through those shots. So we didn't really have the time to dedicate to that kind of level of detail as I wish we'd had, but it still ended up being beautiful. Yeah, and I liked it. I and you were so great. Again, this is where you're so great because in those scenes, in the like, I'm like, okay, and now you're at the point where you're so fucking past it, and you're never, you feel like you're never gonna find that that happiness again. And you go now on another day, and you're not even really looking forward to it, and you're lonely, and you miss this person, and you have to just be there. You just mm. have to be in that moment when everyone around you is being really you know like trying to hurry up and get out of the location on time and and you know you're up against a time pressure that you're able to just like kind of get in the zone and <laughs> act that way it was genuinely really cool oh, thank, well done. thank you director um uh someone asked me about the music um oh yeah annalise says can you talk about the chorus a bit like the echoed voices and why you chose to do that love the vid by the way it was so beautiful um thanks annalise i'll answer about the music um yeah, when I recorded this song, or when I got the idea for it, there were people in my flat, obviously pre-pandemic, um, and they were having like a little gathering, and I really wanted to record the song, so I was like, I'll just like lay down the vocal, why not, um, and have people in the background and then like do another take later, um, but then coming back to it, I was like, oh, I really actually quite like it, because it says so much, it's like... You know, yeah. there's a there's a world if, that I'm not in, a world full of like you know, drinking pleasantly and connection, and That's I'm what it just not like. there. Yeah. Wait, is one of those people me? I don't think so. Okay, it's just because Jack said every time he heard the beginning of it, he could have sworn it was my voice, and then hey. I started getting tweets from people being like, "Is your voice on this video?" I don't think you were there. I, don't I think can't remember that. I know Rosie was there. Chloe was there. Jack, uh, no, Dan's there. I don't think it was me. Someone goes. Hey, because I think like yeah, someone like yeah. announced something, and Rosanna goes, "No!" And then Chloe's also telling a story about wow. like I think maybe her job. I can't remember. Um, but That's yeah, it's so cool. it's all there, and I just like put it in loads of reverb and like made it come over. That but, is yeah. fully the vibe you get. Is that like Heck this, yeah. she's in the bathroom on a, o- almost, mm. and she's like just trying to gather herself while the party's happening yes. over there. That's why where I Definitely. always see when I see that. Definitely. I did want a shot of you in a bathroom. It just felt a bit cliche. Yeah. But I see that when I hear that bit of the video. I see you at the the club or the restaurant or whatever, and you're sort of trying to gather yourself mm. in the bathroom. Ooh. Did you guys speed up the song on set and tape Dodie singing to it? To it. Yeah. So like, whenever you're singing in slow mo, you it's have hilarious. to. Yeah. So imagine you know those like shots of like any music video where it's like this. That's very dreamy. Like slow mo. Like wow. Just know that on set, the sound that they're lip syncing to is a fast version of the song. So like, I kiss the one who wasn't you. So I have to be like, the way and the It is a bit funny. It's like, it's like so fast yeah. because you, yeah, it has to. So it can be like slowed down. So just know, I hope that ruins every music video for you. We did actually get a few takes of you singing along to all of the verses but then we only used that one line in the edit yes fuck this I just like to see yeah that's the only line of lip sync I love the way you say that with the little you've got your lip gloss it's just a little bit of shame a bit of venom in it I love it yes Uh, let's see more questions from the lovely people question was the lack of time clarity supposed to represent lostness of us all or being unhappy in the present yes yes Yes. Nice. Low rumble in the background. Thank you. Lots of rumble. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that question's gone. Um, someone wants to know about the last shot. The last shot is actually not a spotlight. It was shot like that, and then Dave, good old Dave, edited out the everything around it. Yeah. So it's like a vignette, but it is. Yeah, actually. So we put a spot on you to help. So everything else sort of around that fell into darkness. Um, but in the raw footage, you obvi- you absolutely can see like the light stand and the walls and the other furniture and the equipment and stuff in the room. Um, so that was literally Kieran running backwards. Mm. Um, we didn't use the steady cam. We sort of wanted, wanted to that be a bit wonky, wanky, wanky, <laughs> wonky vibe. The wanky. I wanted to say handheld and wonky at the same time. Someone said wanky. Um, 
it, it turns out we didn't actually have time to get the steady cam together. That said, I prefer the I prefer the handheld vibe. Um, so we were going to kind of try both ways and see in the edit, but then on the day we were like, we're just going to do it this way. Mm. Um, so that's just Kieran going literally as far back as he can in that in that big room. And yeah, there's a lot of people kind of asking about what that shot means. I don't think, I don't want to say, take from it what you will. I don't want to be like, this is what I meant by this yeah, thing. Yeah, I think, I guess it's the only time we see her alone, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reluctant to kind of go. I, I'm reluctant to go into it, but obviously, whatever you think of it is is interesting. It, just, it, I, I see. Without wanting to imprint on you, you know what you take from it. I think I just, I wanted to pull outside of her, her world a bit. Like it's so, so much of it is like caught up in this frenzy of action and such close up intimate stuff that I wanted to pull away from that. What's happened? I spelt it wrong. <laughs> I kissed Simone. It wasn't you. <laughs> it was Simone in the back. I kissed Simone. She was great. Why you? did no one tell us it was spelled oh, wrong? Well, someone did. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're so deep. We're such a mess. Can you tell how busy I am? I was just like, such a mess. <laughs> um, you have been really busy, babe. I have been so busy. Yeah. Then get the camera doing right, that I'm keen to wrap up. Let's wrap this wrap shit up because it's been nearly an hour. Um, yeah, we can just. How did you did you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, it was sick of your shit, face, wasn't it? Sick of your this stupid, a terrible face. time. I hate looking at oh it. Oh my god! Of course I did. I love making things for your beautiful songs because they're just, it's so easy. Yeah. It's so easy. Everything you make is so beautiful. Every time, I remember when you, when I heard the album the first time, 12 years ago. <laughs> it's just four years ago. <laughs> it's been ago. 80 for um, Yeah, I was like lying on your bed and we just listened to the whole thing and every single beat of it conjures up imagery for me. It's so, like sometimes, it happens a lot when I listen to music, but yours in particular is like, so vivid and so emotive and so beautiful and whenever you say hey do you want to do a thing i'm like abs a fucking because it's it's a pledge Yay. it's a cheeky pledge thanks hazel also you're the only one who's hired me in a year and a half oh so. come on <laughs> come there's on. been a pandemic there's been a pandemic i was just <laughs> delighted to be directing again oh, honestly it was mate, so it nice. was so fun it oh, was really I miss fun it. I miss it it was so yeah much. You smashed it. I love it so much. Everyone so smashed happy. it. I'm so happy with how it went. I'm so happy with the team. I love how we just get together and we just make these beautiful things. And that's cool. That's cool that that's we get cool. to do that. That's so cool. Yeah, and every, everyone was just like, just fucking did the job, got it done. It was such a quick turnaround. So, like, everyone smashed it. I'm so smashed grateful it. to everyone on the team. All the actors, all the crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just like worked so hard to make something so beautiful so fast. And so fast. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. I, I would not it. change it. And I'm really thank you for letting me go full Hazel. On it. Oh I'm my god, sure. love it. It's so you. It's so Hazel. So happy about it. Um, right. All right. I keep seeing questions, and I feel really. I'm sorry that we're not getting to oh. all your questions. Um, wrap yeah, up. I think it is. Um, oh, we will wrap up. Someone um, keeps. Someone said asking about triggers. Um, no, that no, I'm... let's not open up triggers now. We're wrapping up. Let's no, do it. Do you right. want to do one nice last question? All oh, right. We'll do one nice last question. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just fucking no. vetoed no. the trigger question yeah, there. I'm like, enough. no. Boundaries. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I, I would like. like. <laughs> I love it. Let's do a separate video. I on do appreciate boundaries. the question, though. Um, yes. Fully do. Right. All right. One nice question. Um, do you guys contribute completely 50 50 to the ideas? Or does it work like Hazel pitching the idea to Dodie? Um, I think it's probably like it's maybe a little bit less conventional because I'm so creatively involved in my music video projects um, mm. because I'm me <laughs> and I like that. Um, so yeah, me and Hazel, I, I went around to hers and we did a big brainstorm. Um, and yeah, I suppose, I think we kind of came up with the foundations of an idea and then Hazel just took that and made it completely her own. Um, so yeah, that. I'd say it was fairly collaborative. It's the same with human. We sat like we have that first really long chat. Mm. So we spend a couple hours really talking, like, talking about, about what the song's about and like what I'm comfortable with and like yeah, like maybe ideas will be thrown around and I'm yeah. like mm, not quite. Yeah, yeah. 
and then at some point along the way it's sort of oh my god we had, there was so many things this was going to be like we were talking about animation we were talking oh, like about water. underwater yeah we were going to have it in a pool at some we were point. going to do some stuff underwater like, pff, like those cool transitions oh, we're gonna, yeah we were going to have you like literally get in the bath and mm. then be underwater and then but we couldn't afford that um <laughs> But also, it, it, it didn't feel quite right. Yeah, no, no, no. But like, we went through lots and lots of different ideas. And then you just sort of very naturally, after several bottles of wine, um, <laughs> you just sort of land on something and go, that's the thing. And then I spend a very long time yeah, I just watching, left other, you, to be honest. watching films and getting references and ideas and talking to the team. And they're all helpful as well. And like, there kind of comes a point when... And then, of course, the other thing is like, we kind of retold this in the edit as well. So there's, there's this kind of thing that... You, you tell a story three times the first is the script the next is when you film and the next is the edit mm. and we kind of did that with this more than I have done in, in other videos as well as I said we, we shot we overshot we got a lot of stuff knowing we would play about so like the animatic was like the whole first bit up till the end of the first chorus is just um, you get ready you go on the date with Niall so I, we told it very chronologically and then you do the next date and the next one and they get shorter and quicker but then I knew that wouldn't actually be how it would play out. How it would play out, like we would. I wanted to do these sort of Christopher Nolan style uh, glimpses of memory, where you just sort of cut to a thing, and you're like, "Is this a memory? Is this uh, an idea? Are they looking forward or backward?" Or so we started to throw them in, and Jack started to just play around and just throw clips everywhere, and then we built that big frenzy. So, yeah, I just keep talking. Sorry. <laughs> no, oh, I love it. Um... But yes, it was very collaborative, and I'm glad because I always want Dodie to be like. 100 it's her song it's her song at the end of the day and i'm i'm being hired to make a vehicle for her song to get to the world so i want it to be exactly what you want it to be Mm -hmm. but also what i want it to be (laughs) yeah (laughs) it's difficult (laughs) it's difficult but it's perfect we navigated it really well i think right okay friends sorry about all of the fucking uh yeah, live I never want to see it. Back, it's just Sony. I'm a one-person team, right? I'm trying to juggle Guys, all if you the could feelings. See, she's got a camera plugged into a wall. <laughs> there's, there's, a a wire. Light, there's a wire. There's a wire. There's, 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 there's a big there's speaker. A... There's the thing. She's trying to upload the video, do the premiere, get this done. Like do also minute. deal with all the feelings of me being so vulnerable. Out, I'm just saying. I'm trying to like sat in the. Yeah. Dip it, but it's just a lot going on. But thank you for bearing with. <sighs> you did so good. I'm so proud. Thank you. Aww. Love you lots. Love you. Thanks, Hazel. Right, bye lads. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for Thank tuning you for in. Caring. Thanks for your questions. <laughs> it's been so nice to like do this and, and read all of your little things. Um yeah. Thank Go you. watch it again with all of this insight if you fancy it. And yeah, until then, 